Welcome everyone to the exercise number 5a in the book Getting to Know ArcGIS and in this exercise we will concentrate on how to change our colors in um, features and therefore layers. Therefore I would like you to open the exercise number 5a and um, well this is some kind of problem in my distribution and as you can see here we have a color scheme for the countries uh, and for the cities and first of all I would like to change the color scheme because the color here is a light purple which is a little bit maybe uncool <laughs> to be represented on a map and uh, therefore we will choose a quite or a slightly different color scheme just by double clicking on countries and um, no, on the on this color so just go over the here on the color double click and you will get to the symbol selector um, we will change the fill color maybe to topaz sand and the out co outline color uh, will we will change maybe to black and we will change the outline depth to one we'll go to the layout view so major cities um, layer view maybe we should change it back to that the outline color is not so uh, thick at all so we'll go back to 0 0.4 with that and so you can arrange your colors through the symbol selector you can also um, use um, some RGB color code to represent your um, your own color scheme and what we will do as well, we will change the city layers because the symbols are now a little bit under under represented under represented on this um, view here. So we will go there. And we will change the size of the uh, of the pointers to ten, which is um, or this is the point size PT and now the, the now the circles are quite big and this thickness is quite good but we will go along and change the color to a more eye-catching color in red what else will we do we will get some names to the cities so we can see each um, we can see each city name here therefore you, there are several possibilities first of all the easiest one is to go right click and say label features which will um, get one value in the city so we can have a look in the attribute table so there are a lot more attributes available here uh, which can label each feature but I think it will use the first character set um, so the other possibilities is to go or right click on properties and there's a special labels tab over here so you would like to label features in this layer and the method is label all the features the same way um, which uh, was done now automatically here in our case and you can choose your labeling field so you can also go here and say well the labels are coming from the from the country name but let's be honest the label should be the name of the city so we'll go with that and what we'll do now is we will also change the frame properties which means that the background of the frame can be another color maybe so we'll go to the, or the, you will go on the right click to the frame or the um, the current data frame which is called major cities go on properties say frame and the background color we will change that to light, li light blue that's it well it is saying that this coordinate system has a different geographic coordinate system which is fine for the moment and we'll say yes and that's okay you you can see that there are still coordinates in the background which will be represented in the map as well thank you for watching